Let's talk about an excellent tricep exercise that unfortunately is performed incorrectly more often than it's performed correctly. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the close grip tricep press, also known as the close grip bench press. We're going to cover muscles targeted by the exercise. We're gonna talk about how to perform and how not to perform the exercise and make sure to stick around to the end where we'll cover a variation of the close grip tricep press that will target your triceps even better. But first, hi, my name is Ryan Treadway, founder of TreadwayTraining.com, where we turn skinny guys into jacked men. If you want more information on body transforming training and nutrition topics every Sunday, consider subscribing. Now let's talk about the biomechanics of the close grip tricep press and the muscles targeted. There are two actions being performed during this exercise. Elbow extension, which is performed by the triceps, and shoulder flexion, which is performed by the anterior delts and the pecs. Because this exercise performs one of the primary functions of the pecs, many people will use this exercise with the intention of building a bigger chest. However, I would advise against using this as one of your primary chest builders. The pecs have two primary functions, shoulder flexion, which I already mentioned, and horizontal shoulder adduction. The close grip bench press only targets one of these functions, whereas the traditional bench press targets both. This, in combination with the fact that the close grip bench press can't be loaded as heavily as the traditional bench press, makes it a less effective chest builder, a finding that has been supported by multiple studies. Instead of thinking of the close grip bench press as a chest builder, think of it as a tricep builder that also provides a little bit of stimulus to the chest. So now that we've talked about what the close grip bench press is and isn't, let's talk about how to set up for and perform the exercise. Unlike the traditional bench press where maximal loads are used and each rep must touch the chest to count, the setup for the close grip bench press is a little bit more flexible. For that reason, we'll cover two different setup options. Option one is to set up for the close grip bench press like you would for a competition bench press. Step one, set your feet. The exact placement will vary depending on your height, but the goal is to get your feet slightly under your legs while keeping your heels on the ground. Using lifting shoes will allow you to get your feet further under you while still keeping your heels on the ground. From here, lay back on the bench. Grab the uprights of the bench and use them to push your body forward, creating an arch in your back while at the same time pushing your shoulder blades together. Keep your shoulder blades contracted throughout the movement. Think about trying to pinch a pencil between them. Keeping the shoulder blades together and your back arched is a stronger position, allowing for greater loads to be used and is a safer position for the shoulder joints. Now let's take a step back and look at the other setup option before moving on to how to actually perform the exercise. Setup option two is a little bit more relaxed. The close grip bench press is an exercise that's well suited for moderate weights in the six to 15 rep range. Because maximal loads won't be used, leg drive and having a big arch in the back isn't as important. Simply lay back onto the bench, contract your shoulder blades, and plant your feet. From here on out, the steps are the same for both setup options. This is also where most people get the exercise wrong. Most people I see do this exercise, place their hands at the edge of the center knurling of the bar, or even touch their hands together in the middle. There's no biomechanical advantage to using a grip this close and will pretty much guarantee wrist pain immediately or at least at some point down the road. In addition to the potential for injury, having a grip this close will limit both your range of motion and the amount of weight you can lift, making the exercise significantly less effective. Grab the bar with a shoulder width grip. When grabbing the bar, be sure to place the bar in the webbing between your index finger and thumb rather than across your palms. This will keep your wrist from bending backward, reducing the risk of injury. Grip the bar tightly, push up on the bar, and bring it forward, or have your spotter unrack the weight forward. Gripping the bar more tightly seems to excite the nervous system, which allows the active muscles to fire more forcefully, allowing you to lift heavier weight. Keeping your arms in tight to your sides, lower the bar in a slightly arcing path. When you reach the bottom, pause for half a second to a second, then press the weight back up to the top, emphasizing the triceps. Muscle tension is at its peak for the triceps, 
at lockout. Because of this, with tricep exercises, you should squeeze for about half a second when you lock out the rep. Depending on limb length, which setup you use, the size of your biceps and forearms, the size of your chest, and the path of the bar, the bar may or may not touch your chest at the bottom of the rep. If your arms close off before the bar touches your chest, then make a mental note of where the bottom of the range of motion is for you and make sure that you hit that depth on every rep and make sure you take that pause on every rep to ensure that you don't cheat as the loads get heavier. Shoulder discomfort is quite common with the close grip bench press. If you experience shoulder discomfort, you can try sliding your hands in to approximately 90% shoulder width grip or out to approximately 110% shoulder width grip. At the beginning of the video, I promised you an even better variation of the close grip bench press and that variation is the Smith Machine close grip bench press. Smith Machine variation is more effective at isolating the triceps because the Smith Machine is locked into a vertical path. With a barbell, you have to balance the weight. As you lower the bar, your forearms come forward. In order to keep the weight balanced, the bar also has to come forward at least a little bit, which takes some emphasis off of the elbow extension component. With the Smith Machine variation, you don't have to worry about balance, so you don't have to bring the weight forward as you descend. With the Smith Machine variation, you also have the ability to choose where you want your body to be in relation to the bar. You can slide the bench slightly forward so that the bar hits slightly higher on your chest, placing more emphasis on the elbow extension component. On the other hand, if you're experiencing elbow pain, you may want to slide the bench slightly back to reduce stress on the elbow. As a final warning, you should always be cautious of your form, but particularly with this exercise. The close grip bench press, AKA the close grip tricep press, will allow you to load the triceps more heavily than with any other exercise. This can tempt many to let form go by the wayside in the name of lifting more weight, which is a recipe for wearing out your elbows over time and eventually suffering an injury. Check your ego at the door and lift only as much weight as you can lift with a good form. Have you used this exercise in your workout program before? Let me know down in the comments. And if you've tried both, let me know which one you like better. And I still haven't decided what I wanna do for a 1000 sub special celebration video. So just let me know what you wanna see down in the comments, whether it be a full day of eating, office tour, my own personal workout, any of that kind of stuff, just let me know down in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you want more content just like this, consider subscribing, or you can check out the exercise tutorial playlist here, another one of our videos here. You can also check us out on the Treadway Training blogcast. We're there every Saturday at 3 p.m. That's treadawaytraining.com slash blog. As always, God bless you and your family, and we'll see you tomorrow. Happy in your tractor making noise.